I'm Adrian from Monza Australia and I'm the brand manager for Mitsus Tyres. I'm here just to explain a little bit of info for you guys, just about our extreme enduro range and how the tyre works. So these two tyres up the top are called our TerraForce EF and TerraForce EH tyres. Now they both look exactly the same because they're the same carcass and design. The only difference is the compound. And that's where we come from a green stripe over here to a double green. Now the double green is actually a gummy tyre. So you can see really soft knobs here. So on the wet rocks, they actually spread a lot more surface area which creates traction. Now on the single green, it's a harder material, which allows the tire to dig that little bit better. So better in more loamy soil conditions. Also, they're FIM approved. So that means they're a shorter knob height. That also creates more of a footprint on slippery rocks and harder surfaces. And that's why you get so much drive with these tires. Talking to all the pros, you do have to change your riding style that little bit. If you are aggressive on the clutch on these tires, the knobs will fold over, which then creates no traction. So I'll give you an example. We let the clutch out really hard. The knob will basically fold back on itself. So you really need to ride that clutch and, and load up the bike to get the maximum traction and performance out of these tires. The rears come in a couple of different sizes. There's a 120, 90, 18. So that is 120 wide by 90% of 120 high and then 18 inch. And they also come in the 140, 80, 18. Also to match the rears, we have the TerraForce EF front. Slightly lower knob than a normal motocross tire, which creates better grip on harder surfaces like rocks and a nice big open tread pattern, as you can see, to help clear the mud. These are also available in the green stripe. There's a lot of confusion out there about the numbers on the tires and all the sizes. So I'm just going to explain a little about how most companies measure their tires. So Mitis, let's say it's a 140, 80, 18 tire. What this is, it's 140 wide by 80% of 140 high, and then 18 is your rim diameter. So Mitis measure their tires, obviously in millimeters and say a 140, 80, 18, like it is here. So 140 is the width of the tire. The 80 is 80% 80 of 140 for the height. And obviously the 18 is the rim diameter. One of my favorite Midas tires is this tire right here. It's actually classified as a motocross tire in a medium hard, but it's actually a double green compound. So it's a gummy compared to a normal extreme enduro tire, has a lot taller knob, okay? So this is gonna help heaps in mud. It's gonna help the tire dig down and grab that dry stuff for traction. It also has support bars between each knob. And what this does, it helps the tire not flex as much as the full TerraForce Extreme range. So as you can see here, when I'm pulling down on the knobs, they're not flexing, so that helps the tire dig but it also has enough flexibility with the double green compound to grip on the rocks. So I highly recommend this tire. It's called a TerraForce MX Medium Hard Extreme. Available only in one size, 120, 90, 18. This is our TerraForce Soft Medium MX tire in green stripe. So that means it's a green compound, which means it's a little bit softer material compared to every other soft medium tire on the market. And the advantages of this is when the tire wants to dig down and grab all the dry material underneath the surface for traction, this will actually flex a little bit when it hits a rock or a tree root. And that helps with deflection. So it gives you a lot more confidence, especially in the front end of the bike. Comes in a range of sizes. 110, 90, 19, and also 190, 19. And in 18 inch, it comes in 120, 90, 18, and 110, 100, 18. It was also the tire that we recommended to Tom Mason last year, who won the E3 class at the Australian four day. This is the matching front. So it's a TerraForce soft medium green stripe. Comes in a 90, 90, 21. And it's actually my favorite tire, as you can see, Nice big open pattern to clear the mud. But once again, it's got that softer carcass and a softer knob to help with deflection on tree roots 
and rocks. There's a lot of confusion out there about what percentage of on-road to off-road should I use in different environments. And that really comes down to where you're riding. If you're doing a lot of road, obviously you'd want something like an 80% on-road and 20% off. But if you're doing a lot of off-road, you'd want something like our EO9, which is 20% on-road, 80% off. Or even my favorite tire, the E12 and the E13 that are beside me. So this is the E12, which is Chris Birch's favorite tire. As you can see, it's a green stripe. So that's our green material, which is that little bit softer, which once again, flexes that little bit over rocks, which creates amazing traction. It's a very off-road orientated tire, as you can see, as you've got big gaps in between the knobs to help the tire dig down and get traction. The matching front is the E13. This is actually my favorite tire. It performs amazingly off-road and it still performs really good on-road. As you can see, it's got heaps of knobs right around the tire, which creates amazing traction on all lean angles. One of our biggest selling Mitis tires is the E09. As you can see, nice big gaps in between the knobs to create good traction off-road, but their on-road performance is amazing. This tire here is a 2080. So that means 20% on-road, 80% off. Amazing traction off-road and still very good performance on-road. They also come in a Dakar version and the only difference is it's a lot heavier carcass, which is a lot better for puncture resistant, but also a lot better if you're carrying a lot of weight. The E09 front, as you can see, nice open knobs, little bit shallow knob height compared to the E13, which creates better traction on-road. They come in a wide range of sizes for a wide range of adventure bikes. This is the old faithful, the E07. It's a 50-50, so 50% on-road and 50% off, and it gives awesome performance and amazing durability. As you can see, it's got a little bit of closed pattern compared to something like a 2080, but it still performs really well off-road and it performs really well on-road. As you can see, it's got a lot more closed pattern than the E09 because it's more for on-road use, but it also performs really well off-road. Guys are getting super mileage out of them and they've been around forever and there's a reason why. So the difference between a Dakar carcass and a standard carcass is basically the stiffness. So the Dakar carcass is a lot stiffer, so it's better for obviously heavier bikes or if you've got a lot of weight on your bike. So if you're two up or if you're just carrying a lot. This is the matching front, so the E07 front. So once again, 50-50. 50 on-road, 50 off-road. Off and available in heaps of sizes to suit most adventure bikes out there. This is the E07 Plus Enduro Trail. So this is a 60-40. 60% on-road, 40% off. As you can see, a lot more of a footprint for on-road than the AO7 and also available in that Dakar carcass. So Midas and Adventure can help you out with a range of tyres from anything from 100% on-road to 100% off-road. If you've got any inquiries, feel free to hit up MX Store and they'll put you on the right direction to select the right tyre for what you're trying to achieve.